Helping animals, bro? With your awesome beard? Thank you. Cheers, man. Helping animals, guys? Trying to get people to not eat animals? Helping animals, bro? We're trying to get people to stop eating animals? Oh, what? Yeah. Um, have you ever seen um, the footage of slaughterhouses or...? Oh, I've seen some stuff. How's, yeah. how's it make you feel? It's not nice. No, it's not. Um, can you see the benefits, like we're, we're vegans? Yeah. Can you see the benefits of that? Oh, the uh, uh, next door neighbour where, where I'm from, he's um, basically a vegan and health-wise he's brilliant. Yeah? It works for some people, it doesn't work for others, but you know, it's, yeah. Why, why, why wouldn't it work for other people? For some people, no, I'm saying dietary, because if they got like some dietary requirements and things like that, so it, it works for some, but it work, doesn't work for other people. No, I, I kind of disagree, because there's a, there's a plant nutrient for every every nutrient we need. Oh, right, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, so like, which, you know, which could, come in, is there any nutrients that come to mind when you yeah. think vegan, and which you'd, you'd miss or you wouldn't get? No, not no. really. Um, the, the one thing is that we're not we're not taught these things. You know what I mean? We're not taught from a young age that there's a plant source for everything. Yeah. We're, we're told about protein. We're told about calcium, and yeah. and we're told that we we need it. But actually, um, I know people who have not eaten any animals or any animal products for 30 years. Yeah. Uh, one of them's a grandmother. One of them is a um, world record-breaking yeah. athlete. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So. Um, so basically, we're here today. Like, um, I'm here because somebody gave me a nudge about ten years ago. I've had the same. Some lady coming to the fence dress shop. She does it, and she does protesting. Okay, yeah. And she hired like costumes from the zoo. She wants to go and do a protest. Uh, okay, yeah. cool. And and uh, have you, I was asking um, the person you're with. Um, have you ever considered not eating animals? Um, to be honest, I could probably not eat animals. Oh, that's really positive. It's like. Um, I don't, See, it's I, like milk. We don't need milk. I don't, I'm not a great big fan of meat no. anyway. I'm more no, of, okay. yeah. Yeah. You guys are perfect. I don't eat a lot of meat anyway. To oh, sweet. Honest, That's sweet. Meat, yeah. like it's only meat, burgers, 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 like chicken or pork, uh, chicken or a bit of bacon now and again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, that's good. That's good. That's good. And what that, what that says to me is that it would be an easy transition for you yeah, guys. You're like you already you don't really drink milk. Yeah. Don't eat much milk. You guys together. Yeah. No, that's okay. Um, some people are. Some people aren't. Yeah, no, um, so, but it's also that you're you're being positive about it. Like sometimes people shout at me like all this other nonsense. No, that, no, no, no. But you're you you guys are receptive and taking it on board. Yeah. Um, Basically, we've got. Um, where are you guys from? We're originally from Kent. Um, Kent I'm originally. We're both originally from Kent. Kent. We're Kent. We're in Essex. Now, yeah. Essex oh, you're just on holiday. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, How long are you here for? Week. Week. Okay. Yeah, a, but, a week more or? Uh, no, till Friday. Till okay, Friday. cool. So I'll, I'll give you some um, leaflets. Maybe you'll go and try out one of the vegan restaurants we've got. Mm. So, um, I mean, are you, go, are you guys going out for food tonight? Yeah, we are going out to eat. Yeah. So there's, there's, there's the, sta well, when? Okay. Yeah. There's the stables oh, down right. on the Barbican. They do vegan pizza. Yeah. Right. Um, so no, no cheese in it, no animals in it. Um, yeah. And I can talk to you about nutrition and how veganism is more nutrition, yeah. more nutritious for you. But it gives you that option if you want to try it out. Um, this is also a guide to, like, Thanks. other vegan restaurants in Plymouth. Oh, right. We've also got... Um, We've also got a, um, a vegan shop in Plymouth. So you go in, chocolate, uh, mock meats, chickens, um, bacon, yeah. or similar to bacon, or almost everything. Yeah. And if they can't get it in, they'll order it in for you. Oh, brilliant. Um, and then this one is a little bit more of what I was talking about, like the whys, yeah. right. um, just a bit more in depth. Yeah. Um, there's a really good app called, uh, or a website called Happy Cow, and it's also yeah. an app on your phone. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you basically, so when you go back to Essex, you type in um, your postcode, and it will tell you all the vegan restaurants and vegetarian restaurants yeah. in your area, all right. and like other shops and stuff. Is that through this, is it? Well, no, that's, so that is, so it's just Happy Cow. I think it's on, I don't know if it's, yeah, it, I mean, you've got your phone now. We could yeah. even put it on now. Uh, yeah, you can do it. I know. I'll just Google it. I'll find it. I'm good at Google. Cool. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, friends of mine are vegan. Next door neighbours turn vegan. And he's lost a lot of weight as well. Yeah. So, you know, he's, he looks a lot healthier for it. So, yeah. something I'm, not, I'm open to. So. That's really cool that you yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. like, my, my advice would be to... I'm um, an animal lover as well. That's so, like, it, yeah. It's like the store. I've got a little thrush coming to the door and I've been feeding him. Yeah, and yeah. just pops and he's making these little noises at me and I'm like, come on in. Yeah. yeah. And my daughter's the same, they stopped using Mac makeup because they found out it was like testing on animals. Yeah. So they stopped using it because they won't go in there. That's it. 
stopped. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. It's kind of like the, like I was saying earlier, there is a nutrient for everything we need, and there's also makeups yeah. and stuff that haven't been done. It. Yeah, it's kind of. My daughter was a big fan of Mac, and then they read something or seen something about it being tested in animals. Yeah. There's also, um, if you are here during the week, um, Veggie Perrins is uh, there's there's two two uh, there's two nice restaurants, yeah. Samfire, which is there. Right. So they do like vegan burgers, vegan stuff, um, and lots of like chips and stuff. Roast. You like a nut roast? Nut roast. Oh. Yeah. So you're already there, almost. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. And then um, and then <laughs> oh, sorted. Um, and along from Samfire is a place called Veggie Perrins. Yeah. Um, it's a vegetarian restaurant. Um, amazing food, just like really lovely home family-run restaurant my favorite Indian restaurant in Plymouth um, if you get a chance go and check them out as well yeah. All right, okay, lovely. thanks, for, thanks the for your time well, guys okay, um, helping animals helping animals Hi, yeah. Right? Yeah, you? I'm okay. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, yeah, good. yeah, yeah. We're trying to get people to not eat animals. Well, I'm pretty sure it's just pretty good. I have the view that I do like to eat animals. That's not fine. In a mean way. No, no, no. Well, that's fine. You're you're living. I understand that. Um, yeah. Have you ever seen footage of where they come, like animals being killed? Some of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, how does it make you feel? Obviously, not very happy. It's not the nicest way. It's not. Does that does that ever make you think like? If I can't really watch it, like, then yeah, I shouldn't yeah. really consume that's what it. My housemate is like, if you can't watch it, then you shouldn't be eating. That's yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. If you yeah. couldn't kill something yourself, then you shouldn't be eating. Can you? Could you kill something yourself? Obviously not. No, 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 no. I, I wouldn't say it's obviously because, like, um, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I've met lots of slaughterhouse workers, lots of farmers. Yeah. So, like, um, but in your case, you couldn't do it. No. Um, so we're vegans. Yeah. Um, is there anything stopping you? Do you think there's anything stopping you from going vegan in the future? My job would stop me from going vegan. What's your job? I work offshore in the oil and gas industry, so I just get fed whatever they put out. They, don't, they do vegetarian options, yeah, but yeah, they yeah. never do vegan options. Why would they never do that? Because like in the Navy, like, they uh, they, they, if you say it's a dietary requirement, yeah, in the Navy they will do it. I don't know if they do vegan, but they What's the company, though? I, I work for I work for lots of different oil companies. Okay, of course. Okay, so, 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 okay, apart from that, like, like, say you change your career, you change your career in a year, <laughs> or, or if the, in fact, your, the oil company you currently work for, yeah. the job you work at, they said, yeah, we, we supply you with vegan food. Yeah, yeah. Can you see anything else stopping you from doing it? I like the taste of me. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So it's the taste. It's the taste yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I'll bring it back to the, almost your words: is that you couldn't kill it yourself. Yeah. Um, have you ever had pets? I had pets, cats. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever like form a bond with them? Of like, course. Because I, I saw I saw mine like mates. They were yeah. like. Um, we can form that bond with the majority of animals. Yeah. And what, what that says to me is that they're all the same. Yeah. They all have their own interests in their lives. But, hey. The sun just I know, it did, it did, it did. <laughs> um, what, if there was a, what if there was a taste, like a, if there was a food that re like represented all the taste you needed? Yeah, I, Do you think? I don't know, maybe. No, no, like, but you, yeah. Depends, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, because obviously, so uh, sometimes I eat corn in that. Because my housemate she eats corn for being a vegetarian. Like I just replace it with that sometimes. You're already, you're already doing it. <laughs> I do, I do do it. So I only have meat sometimes. Like it's just yeah, yeah, yeah. Depends. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. Sometimes I feel like I think I need to add a supplement. Like getting that. I guess I just don't eat enough of the right other food to get. I think I get like low blood, what's it? Some iron, iron. iron. Yeah, well you're female, yeah, yeah. And I would always recommend whatever diet on yeah, you're yeah. on uh, to um, ensure that you're getting higher amounts of iron. Yeah. So iron rich foods like spinach, um, you can put that in a smoothie every day. You can make big, do you know? Spinach doesn't belong in smoothies. No, it does, it does. You get used <laughs> no, it to it, it does. To start off with, you're like, oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> but then after a while, like, I had one this morning, I was like, this is so good. You don't really taste it, you don't really taste yeah. the green after a while. But also, um, but then put it in a big salad or put it in a soup or put it because iron as I said iron rich foods spinach dried apricots you can have them as snacking yeah. and as you're eating the iron rich foods you have vitamin C as well yeah. so anything that has vitamin C because that helps aid the iron absorption yeah. um, 
Yeah, so I'm just trying to, I'm trying to, you're already, you're already taking stuff out. Yeah, yeah, I do stuff like, I, I was, I don't. What about a challenge? What about like a month of like, I being already, a pescatarian for a month or I something like that? I am already on a, not a food challenge, but on a, so I, I go to a pole power in Plymouth and uh, they do like body power challenge. So yeah. every morning, half an hour of the day, I'm already, already killing myself for half an hour every day at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm just saying to you, I'm just saying to you, align more with your, your feelings to animals. Yeah. And it's not really a challenge. All you're really doing is going, okay I'm just gonna have fish for the next month and um, and just integrate more corn and stuff in the future could you ever consider yourself going vegan probably not vegan but vegetarian possibly vegetarian possibly okay but what why not vegan what would what would be the like, apart from obviously you said cheese cheese okay cheese is my favorite thing in the whole of life really apart yeah. what about oxygen like, I'm quite a big fan I of oxygen know, I think I could choose cheese over that <laughs> <laughs> okay um, there are, I've seen that because I've watched lots of videos and stuff. So I know there's vegan cheese as well. And there was one person that said that there was a, this one vegan cheese that was quite nice, but the rest of them weren't so good. Yeah. What, um, so I can't remember which one it's all good. All of the all of the vegan options. It comes down to your taste buds, not mine. Yeah. You know what I mean? I I I loads of them. Yeah. Or have I, sorry, I've tried lots of them. Yeah. And they're, I, I like some of them. I don't like others. But I could literally have like five that I like, and you not like them. Yeah. So what it is a case of doing is it trying it and going, okay, that's good, or trying it again. I'm not eating that again. Yeah. Um, the big one, the, like a common one, is Violife. Yeah. Basically tastes like Edam. <laughs> yeah. Do you know Edam? I do know Edam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, we're, we're um, yeah, essentially that's what we're doing is just trying to like give people a nudge and be like, why not? Yeah. Um, and also health as well. Yeah. Like processed meat has been classed as a grade one carcinogen, which yeah. which means will cause you cancer. Yeah. And red meat has been classed as a grade two A, which means probably will cause cancer. Yeah. It's kind of like, well, so. already let's take those out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, so okay, so you could do you ever, if you ever do consider it, get in contact with me. Yeah. I think I've still got you on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, for sure I will do. But uh, I mean like it's a, it's something to consider. And it, but I do like I like cheese a lot. I That's don't think fine. it could be vegan, but like No, no, no. I mean to be honest like I I I always recommend doing it gradually. Yeah. So um, what worked for me was pescatarian for like a year. Yeah. Um, everyone that I'm meeting is like, I'm saying you're pescatarian, they do it for like six months. But <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's, your, it's your journey. It's your yeah. journey and, and just like literally sitting down and contemplating and writing down like the pros and cons and you're like, actually, it is mental. Slaughterhouses are mental. Yeah. Actually, it is better for my health. Actually, the animals, we should be caring for them. Yeah. Not killing them. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 I was just working out in the Gulf of Mexico last time. Really? Yeah. And I just worked with some crazy Americans and I can imagine you trying to talk to them about veganism. That's fine. I've... I've... <laughs> I've... I've... I've, I've some crazy Americans. It's all good. Nah, I'll, I'll talk to anyone. I've yeah, had yeah. I've had some uh, interesting conversations, yeah. to say the least, but I've also had lots of positive ones. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Definitely. Everyone's like... I think a lot of people are more open-minded these days than they once were. Yeah. No, they are. And also... I, I'm not trying to be ageist, but a lot of the younger people are more like more open. Yeah, yeah, I say so for sure. So this is a list of all the places in, v in in Plymouth. Yeah. Give you some ideas, and that's more about what I was saying. Okay. As I said, if you want, have any questions, yeah. just get in contact with me. Cool. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Helping animals, guys. Oh, thank you. We're trying to get people to not eat animals, basically. <laughs> Yeah, you ever thought about it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just a very sporty person. It's yeah. quite hard. It's very what? I'm a very sporty person, so it's quite sporty. hard. Sporty. Yeah, so I, I try and get my protein in, but I don't eat it. Probably. How much? How much protein do you think you need? I don't know. Yeah, because essentially we're we're not really told that you can get all the protein you need from plants. Yeah. And um, also, um, my friend, uh, she is a world record-breaking um, athlete. She uh, is a deadlifter. Uh, she's in her 70s. She only eats plants. Um, the world's strongest man. Uh, he is a vegan. Only eats plants as well. What 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 sport do you do? I play a lot of hockey and okay, I, I cool. do like athletics as well. That's so cool. Like yeah, yeah. Track and field as well. Things like that. Yeah, so another of my friends, her name's Laura Klein. She is a long distance runner, marathoner, triathlete, and a duathlete. So she does a lot of cycling, a lot of running. So you can you can be uh, fit and healthy. Yeah. 
yeah. for plants? It's, it's one of my goals for this year. Is it? To cut it all out. Really? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you have, you, have you? Yeah, most of it. Yeah. yeah. So do you guys know what a pescatarian is? Fish, isn't it? Just leaving fish, yeah, yeah. Or you, you can go vegetarian if you want, um, but like just. Would you think your parents would be supportive of you doing it? Yeah, my yeah? sister's uh, she's pescatarian, going on vegetarian. Ah, oh, sweet! That was, so you've already got you've already got their like yeah. uh, the blueprint yeah. for it. Sweet. Well, um, my friends as well. You guys from Plymouth? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you some leaflets. So this is places to eat out in Plymouth, like vegan options. Um, do you guys know the stables down on the Barbican? Yeah. They do vegan pizzas, vegan cheeses. I had, we had it on Wednesday, it's amazing. Um, but it just gives you like more options. Do you guys know what a vegan is? Yeah. Yeah? Could you... Plant hey? Plant-based diets and stuff. Yeah, yeah, well... Dairy. No dairy, yeah, yeah. Could you ever... Do you think you could see yourselves doing that in the future? I think it would be mm -hmm. morely hard. But, like, More hard, be. but yeah, 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 yeah. If you if you had like the right support yeah. and you knew what to eat, do you reckon you'd be? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So basically, we're here to make you know make people think about it. Speak to your sister about some recipes and stuff, and then just try out pescatarian for a while, and then just sort of gradually go from there. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Helping animals, bro? Go on, talk to me about it. Sure. Um, we're trying to make people consider not eating animals. Okay. Have you ever considered it? Nope. No? Nope. Okay. Well, maybe, no, no, you have, because I've. I've, I've um, why not? I enjoy eating meat. Oh, that's fair enough, yeah, yeah. I enjoy the taste. Oh, no, it, yeah, not it does taste good. Because of the destruction of an animal, yeah. but I've always grown up with it. Yeah, that's fair I'm enough. 117 years old. Okay. I ain't going to change now. Well, you, you could change if you wanted to. Why? Because give me five good reasons. Well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not necessarily going to give you five, but um, I'm, I'm happy to talk about it. Um, have you ever had pets? Oh, probably about 60 years ago. Yeah, did you form some bonds with it? Are you 117? You're, re you're looking really well for 117. When, when was, what year were you born? Work it out. Right. Oh, you were literally like 1900s. I, um, I've been around a long time. Sure. You, honestly, you, I've never met somebody who's 117, so it's interesting. I'm pulling a chain, right? Oh, you're pulling a chain? Oh, well. 65. Okay. I've been around a long time. Yeah. Pets. Huh? Yeah, pets. That was an issue. I have probably moved more times than you would care to consider in my lifetime. Sure. Largely through employment. Yeah. And largely through relationships. Yeah. I had no less than moves in 25 years. Okay. So you're saying about pets? So have you? I never had the time. Never had daughter, the time. Okay, fair enough. My daughter, bless her, would have loved pets, but we lived above. So our flats were tiny. tiny ah, okay, fair enough. And there was never anybody around to look after things. Okay. I'm a cat person. Yeah, cats yeah. Cats love me. Dogs, do, you lo do you love cats? They love me. Yeah. Well, no, no, but do you, no, no, do you love them? Would you, would you, yeah, because they're, yeah? they're like me, independent, you know? Okay. They're picking shoes, dogs. I've had so many encounters with dogs you would not believe. Yeah, 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 65 I'd years. I'd give the damn thing a boot in the arse than anything else. Okay. I've so also lived in the country where there's been... I've had sh where there's been cattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a beef farm. Yeah. Bad luck. And Bad luck, what do you mean? Well, because he would actually take the animals to the abattoir to yeah. have them slaughtered because he didn't trust other the, ways of doing it. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he knew the people that uh, he'd been in. The, he'd been in the business for years, generations, yeah. and I lived. I lived in this big house called. Do you reckon you could kill animals yourself? No, of course not. Why not? Because I regard meat as food. No, no, but that, okay, that, yeah. I mean, I've, all, I've also visited abattoirs. Now, one thing, you, have you ever been to an abattoir that, that kills uh, chickens or turkeys? I've seen the footage, and it makes no, me... You've got, to, you've got to go to these places. It's Does it horrendous. make you feel uncomfortable? But then, come on, let's just stop you there. With, um, before you said you love the taste, yeah. but, but now you're saying that you couldn't do it yourself because you don't like it happening, like seeing it happening. Do you, think, do you think there's a bit of a disconnect there? No. Well, no, there clearly is because you're, you're not really living I your think, true values. I think we associate, I think we associate food, gen generally speaking, with the senses, with the taste, sure. the smells of cooking sure. and things like that. And those, and those senses also happen. If you were to kill a chicken, like you said, it was horrendous. 
you, your senses, as you're killing it, as you're putting it into an electrocution bath. Well, actually, what they do, well, what they do, did. they do a variety of things. Yeah. These are strung up on, on, on a, on a rotisserie. They were then blasted with uh, steam to get rid of all the feathers and stuff like that. Alive? Then, Alive? I'm not sure. Yeah, because I, sure. I, th I think, I think um, the stuff that I've seen is that they um, dunk them into an electrocution bath. Okay. Um, and then they take them out, stun them out, because in England you wouldn't be able to blow off their feathers, because that would be deemed cruel. How do you explain halal? I don't. I just think it's. I just think. I just think it's another. Oh, it's another weird. That, that, one, no, that no, no, is horrendous. One, the, the, the thing is, I, I like to just talk about killing animals in general and not say this one is worse than that one, because. The animals, you know that they're all generally children as well. They're very young animals that we're killing. Oh, yeah. And also halal veal. Yeah, well, halal, no, 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 but we also have a non-halal veal as well. Do you know what I mean? The point I'm trying to make is that whether it's halal, whether it's halal or whether it's not, mm. these are young animals that we're ending sure. their lives for nutrients we don't need. Well, that's another big argument. That. That's well, a not big really. Tell, tell me the nutrient that you need from animals. I, various minerals for a start. If you can name them, because magnesium, potassium, yeah, there's a iron, and you know that there's a but there is a plant source for all of them. If there wasn't, plants don't taste the same. No, 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 no. no we're not talking. We're, we're not talking about the taste. You, I you, am. No, no, no. First of all, you were talking. You said that we need the nutrients. Yeah. And then I asked you to name the nutrients, and you. you I'm not a scientist. No, no, no. But I'm saying. I mean, the, the truth you is, tell me that. On, on the packaging, because meat doesn't come with, with, with all the nutrients in that. And a lot of lot of uh, processed food doesn't have all that sort of stuff on there as well. So Which I processed foods? I, I only thought the meat doesn't have the ingredients, like the steroids you, and the hormones. Take, if you take chilled food, a chilled chilled meal from M&S or... They've got, they've got to have all the ingredients. Do, does people read them? I, I do. You're an exception. Okay. I have got no, no, but there's time. No, no, that's fine. I, I no, no, come in okay. after a 12-hour day. Yeah. Because I pick up the phone probably 130 times a day yeah. to create meetings to sell photocopiers or create meetings. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I get back home about seven o'clock. I'm shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on my own. I, I, am I going to bother to cook? I, you you are, I'm not. I'm not being. Um, Derogatory, but I also do. I leave the house at eight, come back sometimes seven o'clock at night. Um, I do a different job. Uh, I work as a photographer. Uh, sometimes I have to move around a lot, but I also have to drive an hour each way. Sure. So I have a two-hour commute. But I also have the. T I also create the time to. I cook from scratch. Great. Uh, pretty much every I meal. I'd love to. But you good? Yeah. Look, the thing is this. I haven't always been lazy. I am lazy. And the reason is this. Most people associate food with company, with a guest. And not me. Not it. me. I, I'm, I live on my own. <laughs> yeah, no, I live well, on my own. I, I, I see it as, I see it as I've, energy. I've, I've, to me, it's an experience. It's a mm. pleasure. Now, I, to me, with food, you know, I, I know we all need it. We all need energy. We all yeah. need to feed ourselves. If we don't, we're because we can start feeling ill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Believe me, there have been times, because we're in money, when within four days, at the end of the month, I can't eat. Yeah, because I can't afford it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy, heavy day. stuff. Have a wonderful day. Well, uh, can, I, can I leave you with some leaflets? No, because no? that really is a waste of paper. Now, my job is to save paper. Okay. Do you know how many tons, of, how, how many, how many gallons of water it takes to produce one ton of paper? No, I don't. Two thousand five hundred. But what about what about how much water it takes to make a uh, beef burger compared to a veggie burger? It's way more. Could be. Yeah, yeah. It's um, just something no, no, I it's, don't consider because. That's fine. To be honest with you. Yeah. I've spent some time with you, and I've really got to go. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Ticket. Yeah, yeah. Well, have Interesting a. Argument. It's not an argument. It's a discussion. Um. Uh, so what I want to leave you with is yeah. the next time you eat an, uh, an animal, yeah. try and try. Well, it's actually food because it's actually been prepared, so it's not actually an animal. Well, it's okay. That's, the next time you eat dead flesh, yep. Consider that animal and what it wanted from its life, and consider its family that it was taken away from. I have other considerations, my friend. You I really do. That's fine. Well, I'm just, I'm really just, do. I'm just asking you if you yeah. would do that. Anyway, I hope I've been polite. I hope I've you been weren't. Respectful. You weren't polite. There you go. Right. Well, look, the thing is, is in the in future, don't stop me because you know. All right. right. Good luck. We're trying to get people to think about not eating animals. Yeah, I know. It's awful, isn't it? Yeah, have you ever considered it? 
Well, I don't eat a lot of meat anyway. You okay, know, no. I'm just chicken. That's okay, but have you have you ever considered not eating them? Oh, I hate to say, you know, when I see those trucks with the animals. It's heavy, isn't it? Oh. You, know, you know there's a choice, though, that we can make. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do know that. And then, and then what that does is it means that you are, um, you're becoming an extra number who's not contributing to it. And then you, yeah. you start doing it, you start integrating it to your life, and then those around you realise it as well. Yeah, but I mean, in China, they, they eat dogs. But, no, but, let's, but we, let's, talk about, let's talk about us in the UK. Yeah. We love one animal, but then we eat the other. I know. It's weird, isn't it? It's awful, yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Um, so, what do you think would stop you from uh, not eating animals? Well, I'd have to make my own mind off about it. No, you would, you would. But what, I'm, I'm just trying to help you, like, remove any blockages. Yeah. Anything that would stop you. Yeah. I suppose if you, if you saw what happens to her at the slaughter. Well, that's, that's, that's the thing to consider when we are... No, what are you... you <laughs> okay, I don't need to tell you, but what, what I want you to consider is every t if you're, as you're walking down the aisle... Yeah. And you told me that you don't like seeing the trucks. Yeah. But all those animals have been on trucks. Sorry, the majority of them have been on trucks. Really? Well, oh how, else, how else are they going to get to... How else are they going to get to the slaughterhouses? They don't generally... Oh, oh right, oh, they, they drug them up, do they? No, 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 they just put them on. They don't drug them up, they just put them on there. So, so a farm, so they, they stuff, the, stuff the chickens into a, a, a big truck like you've seen. Yeah. I don't know if you, the chicken ones aren't as common as the cow or pig ones, but yeah. chicken ones, there's literally thousands of them on this truck. They transport them, they're going to be scared, they're going to be uh, worried, and then, and then they're killed for food that we don't need. It is awful anyway. I will have a look at this. All right, can I give you this? Um, oh, okay, no, have a good day. No, have a good day. Have a All right. <laughs> Cheers. Helping animals. Yeah. Trying to get. Um, do you guys eat meat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're, we're trying to basically. Um, like, would you guys consider yourselves animal lovers? Oh, God. Oh, this, yeah. This, yeah. This, this truth bomb. Yeah, well. <laughs> well you, 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 you're, you're an animal lover. Are you an animal lover? Oh, well, yeah, who's not really? Huh? Who's not really? Are you, you, well, no, yeah, no, no sorry, 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 yeah, yeah. your accent, I missed, um, <laughs> and I'm slightly <laughs> deaf, I'm slightly deaf. Um, <laughs> for the, um, so basically, so that love that you, we have for the sort of the dogs and the cats, we can have that for all animals, but we just choose not to. Um, there's no biological need from animals to eat them, so therefore, we're taking their lives, even though we say that, because I used to be the same, I used to say that I was an animal lover, but I'd eat some animals. But it's kind of like a contradiction. It's a, I was being a bit of a hypocrite. I was like loving just some of them. Have you guys ever considered not eating animals? Considered it? Well, no, no, I couldn't no? do it. It's no, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. And have you considered it? Uh, kind of did for a brief period. You did? Oh, you went vegetarian for a bit? Or? Well, one of my exes years and years ago was vegan, so. Like, okay, cool. Simplicity. Yeah. Kind of for meals and. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so you were saying you like it meets a big part of your life. Yeah, pretty much. Um, could you could you ever consider yourself go vegetarian in the future? No. Why not? No, because it, it just honestly it just tastes so good and it makes all like ninety percent of my diet. Have you ninety percent? Okay, fair enough. Um, have you ever seen slaughterhouse footage? Yes, it's quite graphic. It's quite graphic. Yeah. And yourself? <laughs> you not see it? <laughs> oh, God, oh, we've got some. We've got some. If you want to check it out, but I highly recommend you see it because there's a really great quote that goes, "If it's not good enough for." our eyes why is it good enough for our stomachs yeah do you know I what I mean can't argue with that um, if we come out of the road a sec so I don't want you guys to get run over um, I can't you haven't seen it that's all good. I mean, um, yeah, you're welcome. So what we've got there is a VR headset. And it, what it is, is uh, the life of a pig, chicken, or a cow. And it's like just an insight. Oh, that's brilliant. That huh? That's brilliant. But it's not always brilliant that you're doing, like, you know, you, you're offering that. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Oh, I'll give him that. that <laughs> um, with yourself, um, did you enjoy the vegan food that you're eating? When you did it? Um. <laughs> I don't know, it was hit and miss, there's bits where I uh, kind of, I was like, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Uh, there's bits where I was just like, you know what, <laughs> I'm not eating that again. <laughs> um, another question, do you guys reckon you could kill animals yourselves and eat them? Oh, oh no, I, I have no say this debate, I could not do that. <laughs> I could not well, do no, that. It's, you couldn't yeah, do that. I'm against all the hunting things, so don't get me wrong, I'm a walking contradiction, but no. Okay, no, that's, that's quite, um, yeah. it's, it's good that you're... You're open about being that contradiction because, like, well, some, you've got to some be, aren't you, really? well, you just got to be honest. Yeah, exactly. some, a lot of people I've spoken to are just not honest. They're not like no. they don't admit to no. the contradictions that they're creating. No. And yourself, could you kill animals and eat them yourself? 
I don't think it's something I'd particularly enjoy, but it, it was one of those things that came down to it. Probably. Yeah. Not like if it, if it was life or death, then. No, no, it's not about life or death. Well, it's no, like no, it's it like. A... One thing. Well, like if it came to that kind of decision, then like yeah. Yeah. But otherwise, I don't know. Probably not. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't want to. Why? Why wouldn't you want to? I mean, like you're, you're saying that you love food and it's a big part of your lives, but you're not prepared to. Do you want to get dirty? Like, you get dirty? No. Well, you wouldn't get you wouldn't get dirty. You'd have like you'd be in overalls and you um, no, no, you wouldn't get any blood no, on you, but no, you'd just be no. you'd have to just stab them. No, no. See, this is what we my stepdad does all this. You you and like no. He does all what? He works in uh, a slaughterhouse factory. I, okay, I, I, it's pretty heavy. A pot. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. No, there is a small part to it, but I don't think he has involved a dolphin in that. Thank God, I could I could do it. No, I, I'm, I couldn't. I can't. I can't kill a fish. I tried to in the past, <laughs> and the little fish was like moving. I was like, <laughs> man, that's a little dude. Yeah, huh? I know it's dead weird, isn't it? <laughs> but that. That, like you were saying earlier, I'm going to pull you up on that walking contradiction, yeah, you, the, yeah, your words, yeah. because I used to do the same. Yeah. I used to call myself a, an animal lover. I used to like sign petitions to yeah. um, stop stop these people hurting those dolphins. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, we need to positively do this. But then I was literally like that same night eating a tuna sandwich, or like yeah. it's like yeah. there's there's no difference between a tuna and a dolphin. It's just your perception. Yeah, I'm completely there. Can I leave you with these? Sure. Are you guys from Plymouth? Uh, well, you, oh, I live in Plymouth now. Oh, you gave me one minute ago. I did, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, considering those things that I've worked, could, would you ever consider not eating dead animals in the future? I'd give it a go, but I know I won't stick to it. Why so, not? Why well, not? Why not? Because it's, it's just, I enjoy meat too much. You, it, like, but you said, or, could you? from toast, it, that's, that's all I eat. Honestly. Toast, a toastable. Toast, you're a toastable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my friend's a toastable. She loves the bread. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And yourself? You could, you've already did it for a while. Yeah, you... yeah it's... Oh, I reckon I could. Like, I could never do vegan. I like... You already did it, though? Oh, no, no. I was, like, eating vegetarian options and stuff. Oh, OK, you were eating less meat. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, personally, I've done both of them. I've done pescatarian where I was just eating oh, fish yeah, then I went yeah. vegetarian and now I'm vegan and essentially they're all easy I didn't like there's not you're just eating a slightly different food there's also a vegan option for pretty much everything nowadays yeah like if you can name something and I'll try and tell you if there's a vegan option for it yeah it's so like, like a sort of video and um, there's a I don't know if it's a vegetarian or vegan burger but it's got um more. Something in it which makes it taste and actually kind of bleed like meat. Oh god, that's so grim. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. But it, but it, but that 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 uh, that's a burger. You cut it yeah. open, it it's got like that kind of like yeah heme iron. Juice. Yeah, they've used um they've, it's, because it's from a plant, isn't it? As well, there's a plant with like heme or something in it. Yeah, it's some sort of mushroom. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's part of a plant. They've just, um, they've, so they've taken extracted a bit out of it, extracted it, like you would like a colouring or whatever. No, but they've created that. Like it's haemoglobin, but it's like heme or something else into yeah, 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 yeah. it. Oh, it's so actually true. from a plant and it is red. But it looks like blood and tastes like meat. So, but it's a plant based thing. So you're saying it's grim. Would you eat, would you eat uh, some meat that had a bit of blood on it? No, no. But why, but why not though? <laughs> if you're, if you're gonna, if you're gonna I eat. I don't want to eat blood. Never but, mind animal blood or human blood. Like, no, 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 but, the, <laughs> but essentially. Like there's still blood in the meat. If we go to the shop, oh, the God, chicken there is, the, there, there is there there is there there is there's still blood in there. And what you've got to remember is their body parts, yeah, their limbs. It's like oh, can I have the breast? Can I have the leg? Red meat either. I won't touch it. Well, that's good for your health. Yeah. No, no, no. I eat it, but I won't. I won't actually touch it. That's it's, that's it's, that is interesting. Yeah, no. It's, <laughs> that, that, it's dead weird. It's dead weird. I don't like touching it. Um, do you understand that all the animals that we eat? Have families, yeah, I know. And it's what we're doing, what we're, what we're doing. This, it said like you pigs sing in nur- to nursery rhymes. Yeah, or something. yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, yeah. But what, because we're so disconnected, we have these busy lives, <clears throat> and we're so far removed. Like you've never seen slaughterhouse footage. How old are you? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> Twenty nine. Twenty nine. You're nearly my age, and like um, you've never seen slaughter. So. so, but you, but that's the food that you're eating every day. Sometimes three times a day. Yeah, it's pretty bad. If it, admit, it is very bad. If there was, if if there was slaughterhouse footage on the packaging, like a little video playing or a little picture. Yeah, I think it kind of should be, to be fair. Like tobacco. Be. Well, yeah. Oh, God, that's the best point. That's the best point I've heard, yeah. Hasn't ever that. stopped you smoking. Well, no, but I'm not a vapor, so I can quit, but, you know. Okay, so from now on, I'm going to plant the seeds um, uh, that yeah. when you eat meat, well, you don't touch it, but when you're buying it, yeah, you've yeah. got a picture. 
the fact that I imagine that's where, where it's idea. come from and also if it, what slaughterhouse it went through the the, yeah. the way it was killed what was injected into it for its life to and fair, and think, its family as well they should do that yeah, yeah, yeah i think they should and their families is the other point i wanted to try and make that they are they they have the right to have to be around their families as much as humans do yeah yeah oh yeah I'll give you that. You do have some good points. Uh, also, also, we are not baby cows, so we shouldn't drink milk. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> are we? Are we baby cows? No. Well, no, you didn't answer. Well, it depends. We're not baby cows, but we're baby humans. They drink milk. They do, but are you a baby human? Well, I was at one point. Would, you, but you're not now, though, are you? No. No, so you don't need milk. Well, I don't know. It's good for your bones, and I like it's that. Not, that's technically no, no. <laughs> it's, but what, what's good about your what's why is it good for your bones? Oh, f- it. I don't exactly, know. It's, I don't know that. it's calcium. Calcium is good for human bones. Yeah. But uh, green leafy vegetables. Of calcium in milk, though, they, so. Also, 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 why do we need to drink milk after weaning? We're the only species that does it. Do you know, yeah, it's well, weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it's right, one, yeah. one thing that I don't actually drink. Is it? Anymore. Yeah, oh, okay. I put down on all dairy. That I only now essentially have cheese once in a while. What I don't was, drink milk at all. What's the um, what's the inspiration for not consuming dairy? Uh, it was that whole thing. It, it, like, it's, it's growth formula for a cow. Baby growth, yeah, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> for baby cows. All I drink yeah. is apple juice and milk. So. <laughs> <laughs> because how I looked at it with the milk is like, how small is the cow when born? And within like what four or five months, it's like tripled. Yeah, yeah. Quadrupled all the hormones, size. all those hormones it that is, aren't it, designed it for humans, yeah. full of yeah. just messing our bodies up. Yeah. So weird. Have you guys have you guys heard of the films Cowspiracy and What the Health? Mm-hmm. All right, come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. <laughs> yeah, they're both on Netflix. Okay, so what the health isn't on this leaflet, but check it out. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll give one to each of you. Um, Cowspiracy it talks about the environment. What the health talks about all the reasons why you shouldn't eat animal products if you want to be healthy. And it talks about the fact that we're not baby calves, like you said. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cheers for your time, guys, and <laughs> cheers for being open-minded. A lot of people like get aggro or uh, yeah, no, 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 no point for that in life. There yeah. isn't really. <laughs> Sweet. Well, yeah. Remember that thing about. Remember that thing about the uh, supermarkets and. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? You should because honest to God, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I really think you should. It, like, like he said, if they do it for bags, why not? Yeah. That's a really good idea.